Hi everyone, it's Tammy Mastroberti with Elevated Existence. Today I am going to teach you three ways to access intuitive guidance. No matter what you think, you are intuitive. You can do this. You just have to open up your awareness, take the steps, and try it out. And trust, trust that what you're getting is what you should be. So, there are quick and easy things that you can do to sort of test this out and to help you get the intuitive guidance that you need, okay? The first thing is meditation. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear it, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Meditation is key. Now, it doesn't have to be the 20 minutes of meditation all the time. It can just be spurts of meditation where you're learning to quiet your mind. Three minutes here, five minutes here, 60 seconds here, that you recheck in with yourself and you check in with spirit. If you talk to any psychic, any medium, anybody who works in that field of intuition or teaches intuition, they are going to tell you that meditation, quieting the mind, slowing things down, is the way to make that connection. That's when things start coming in, when the chattering of the mind slows down. So if you're even trying to make a decision on something and you, you know, your head is just filled with worry and stress and you're not sure what to do and you're driving yourself crazy, that is when you say, wait a minute, I need to reconnect with my higher self and with my intuitive guidance. I am going to calm myself down. I am going to close my eyes. I'm going to take two minutes, three minutes to focus on my breath, to repeat a mantra. You can just repeat, I am connected. I am connected over and over again. Slow yourself down and then try and tackle the solution and see what comes in. And you can even ask yourself a question when you're in that calm, quiet state and see what comes to you and be open to what comes to you. Another thing that I like to do, and it really is very helpful and it, and it helps open up that connection, is if you're dealing with something in your life, sit down and write the universe, spirit, even your loved ones on the other side, write them a letter saying, here's what's going on in my life. Here's what I need help with. Here's where I'm, I'm having trouble. Or I could really use some guidance on X, Y, Z. And I'm not sure which way to go. I'm not sure what to do. I could definitely use your help. Write it all out in the letter like you're talking directly to the universe, to spirit, to your guides, to whomever that you feel connected to. Write it all out and then put the letter away. And just stop for a minute and say thank you, thank you, thank you for your help and answers. I will be open to receiving them. And then go on about your life. Give it a few days and see what happens. See if an answer doesn't automatically somehow pop into your head. You don't think of something that reminds you of something else and then you Google something and there's your answer. Or somebody all of a sudden calls you and they have an answer. Or you go into Starbucks and you overhear somebody else talking about something and that's your answer. Okay, the universe, your spirits, your spirit guides, and your, your, your loved ones on the other side. That's how they get to get information to you. That's how the intuition works. It's a thought that kind of pops in your head out of nowhere or a situation that you walk into and all of a sudden, you know, the proverbial book falls off the shelf and that's the answer that you're looking for. But put it out there and then give it a few days and see what happens. And know that when those answers come, that is your intuition opening up. That is your guidance that you're getting from whomever it is that you asked for. So try that out. And the last thing I want to just share with you quickly is something that I learned to do, I started doing a couple of years ago. When I'm struggling with something or I just need inspiration or help, I will sit down in the modern day of technology. I like to do it on a computer. A lot of you will hear about automatic writing where people just sit down and start writing. I like to just sit down, close my eyes, put my fingers on the keyboard, and type. And I will literally put out, um, you know, sometimes I'll say, you know, dear spirit guides or, um, you know, 
my loved ones or whomever and I'll just say, you know, I'm calling in, a lot of times I'll say calling in my angels and guides and loved ones on the other side, only those of the highest vibration. I am struggling with da 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 What, or sometimes I'll just say, what do I most need to know right now in my life? And I'll just allow myself to type. I don't think about it. I don't correct it. I don't get grammatical with it, right? I just sit and I just let it flow out of me. No matter what it is, and I don't question it, and I just let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. And then when I feel I'm done, you know, sometimes I'll ask more than one question. I'll say, well, what about this? And I'll ask different questions, and I just allow it to come through me. And often when I go back and read it afterwards, I think, this is pretty cool because I don't think I talk like that all the time. Or I don't know if I were to write this, if I would have said it that way. And one time, I'll never forget, a few years back, I kind of got this intuitive hit that my mother was trying to get in touch with me. It was actually, um, I was typing something on my cell phone and her name popped in my head. It had nothing to do with what I was typing. In the middle of typing a text or an email, I don't remember what it was. And I, and I stopped for a second. I thought, that is really odd. You know, maybe she's around. So I sat down at the computer and I typed a whole bunch of stuff out. And then I thought I had completely lost my mind. And so I thought, well, this is great stuff, but how do I know this is really you? And about 45 minutes later, I had a friend of mine who happens to be a medium call me. And she said to me, you know, I don't know why your mom's here, but da 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 da. And she started repeating all the stuff that I wrote down. And I thought, this is my confirmation. Stop second guessing and questioning just allow what comes through especially if it's good advice you guys allow it to come through whether it's your higher self your intuitive voice a loved one on the other side or your guides allow it to come through and then read it through afterwards I like to again get myself into that meditative state even if you take about 60 seconds before you do it to reconnect and then you sit down at your computer you close your eyes and you type that is how it works for me. You can do it with a handwritten note as well. You can sit down with a pen and paper and do it. Whatever works for you, but try it because you're opening up that intuitive pathway and you will be surprised, I believe, pleasantly surprised at what comes out of that. Whether it's, again, writing the letter and waiting for the answer to come to you in the universe out there somewhere or actually sitting down and asking for an answer and sort of channeling what comes through. We all have this ability. It needs to be awakened. And so I want you to try a couple of these things if you are trying to sort of open up your intuitive intuition and get some more intuitive guidance on your own. So give it a try. And then, of course, email me and let me know how it goes and what you think or if you have any questions. And I wish you a beautiful week. And until next time, keep elevating yourself.